Number three, I've got a kill pot at the moment. You've got an inadvertent kill pot. Yeah, it just kills the sound whenever uh, you try and turn the volume up or down, which mid gig is a complete nightmare. Recently, shot a video about the MLV. This is one of the things that irritated me about this design. Pablo put this on the, the first tour I played it on when I bought it from Dusty, because the strings just pop out of the nut, not because it was the angle. It's the angle and the nut, I think. And um, yeah, the strings catch underneath there, like that. See that? <laughs> That's the thing. That's and, the thing uh, that happens. It's like yeah, it's just lots of things that need resolving, but it's all it's all good. It's like looking inside Darth Vader's helmet. Yeah, I think that's why that was... Um, the screw's too long. Yeah, because you can see in the Oh, uh, yeah. Marky Marky's where the screw ends have been... So basically the, the scratch plate has been bulging. Uh, yeah. And it's because these screws are less pull screws. They're too long. Okay. So not only has Pablo got a whole load of switchcraft stuff in his little magical box of joy, hey, hey. but he's also potentially got an orange drop. You're going to have to explain what an orange drop is, perhaps, because right. not everyone will know. Show, show them the drop. That is the orange drop capacitor tone cap. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay. Focus. There we go. Yeah. There we go. It's a magical dream yeah. thing. And that will be replacing. I don't know if we'll be able to. No, we can't. Oh, I can show them. Good. Right. So that is the stock one, which oh. is just a simple. Tiny little and that's piece. the switchcraft version. <laughs> and uh, look, it completely hides it. Because <laughs> uh, as we all know, bigger is better. It's not the size, it's the girth. <laughs> it's, and the, from a girth point of view as well. It's, yeah. it's girthy. It's, it, it's a big old unit. I mean, these are perfectly acceptable and thousands and thousands of guitars have them. Yeah. Um, but when you're actually listening to it, it's the same as going, um, where was that telecaster? I put it back in its right. case in the, the other room. has got a paper and oil capacitor in it, right. which is like primo, as good as it's ever going to get. Yeah. These are right behind it. Right. But don't cost like 15 quid each. How exciting. Um, so it's basically putting in as good a components as you can. Great. And we're going to switch craft up that dead um, yeah. thing as well. We'll do the, um, in fact, my... Yeah, could actually do both of them. Awesome. So we could do both volume pots, dump these ones and put nice clean ones in. Okay. And upgrade your tone pot with a decent orange truck. Thank you very much. And then we're going to do some fret edges. Yeah. And string it with tens. And then I'm going to write a load of really dirty riffs on it. Mm hmm. After consultation from Pablo, um, since I never use my tone knob, he's recommended that we remove it from the circuit. Uh, it's still in there, but it's just removed. And what does it do, Pabs? Um, it will effectively make the pickups a bit louder because you're taking 500k out of the circuit. Right. So it's now They're 500k better than they were, <laughs> is, is the situation yes. there. Yeah, that's the way to look at it. Right. So these are the new pots in situ. These are the new pots. That's like that, so it's not soldered in yet. And I pull that and it's still not coming out. Oh, I see. Yeah. So you fixed it from... Yeah. So if you were to get a cold solder joint, yeah. which you shouldn't because of the way I'm soldering it, um, it's also mechanically fixed. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, it's all clever shit, mate. I'm not saying that your fretboard was dirty, Rob. Yes. But, I mean, but, come on. Right, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Pabs. I mean, I have played this guitar quite a lot. Yes. But now it's, um, it's a lot happier. Of course, this is rosewood, so I better be better be mega careful with it now, huh? Yeah, can't go anywhere. No. <laughs> it's brighter as well. Yeah. Like a lot. Yeah. Sorry. You've half the amount of resistance. Right, right, right. In, in the line. Yeah. <laughs>
We yeah. <laughs> we also to sound like. we stole the knobs off of one of my pedals because I found the knobs that it came with these they were so hard to to turn they just really weren't doing the job so I sought them out for something else. <laughs> Thank you. More like it. Way better. Wow, I haven't played that guitar in literally months, man. <laughs> Just gonna get his hair cut now. <laughs> Thanks. Hooray! Okay. Bit of a, a V setup. <laughs> Make it extra specially special. <laughs> because when you get a prototype, you can do what you want to it when you have a guitar company. So I'm doing some special things. And over here, oh, it's like mega ridiculous gear day. My beautiful British standard ghost fret. Uh, I'm doing some secret source internal modifications to this as well. Um, yeah, so awesome things going down. It's the best set of drums I've ever played. <laughs> no, that's wrong. Hang on. I, I just want to thank Pablo for coming down. And thank um, you, obviously, I'll, I'll thank him with money as well. But thank you for fixing and modding a load of my beautiful products. And if anyone else wants to find Pablo anywhere else, they can find him at these, this place that I'm going to type at the bottom of the screen later on when I edit this and we watch a movie and shit and hang out. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, say goodbye, Pabs. Bye, Pabs.